to my channel. My name is Chrissy and you are watching Chrissy's Craft Room. Today I am back with a little DIY Mondays or what I like to call a series of Make It Yourself Mondays. Now it might be a little early, I don't know for some people, but we are gonna dive right into today's DIY because we are making our own glittered ornaments. How cute is this? glass ornament. It is super easy to make and I'm so excited to show you all how I achieved this glittered look and I am also going to show you how I apply vinyl on the ornament to add an extra personalization for whatever it is that you want to add on your tree. So first let's start with the supplies that we're gonna need to get started. So what I have is a clear glass ornament some polycrylic and a clear condiment bottle which I already poured my polycrylic inside now the clear condiments bottle you can get at Walmart I believe I purchased it for about 80 cents to a dollar the polycrylic I also purchased at Walmart it is eight ounces and I believe for this can it's nine dollars but no worries although the can is a little small a little bit goes a long way so it will last you if you decide to do a couple of these ornaments at a time um, I purchased these clear this box of clear ornaments last year and this was after Christmas so they were on sale I believe I got a pack of nine for a couple bucks so it didn't cost much and you can also get clear ornaments at the dollar store which are plastic but if that's the way you want to go if you have kids or anything like that and you want shatterproof ornaments those will work perfectly fine with this method as well so if you want to see how I create my own DIY glitter ornaments, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so first what you're going to want to do is get a hold of your ornament and pop the top off. Once you got the top off your ornament, you're going to grab, grab your bottle of polycrylic and squirt some inside the top. want to make sure you get a good amount in there so that we get great coverage. Now you're just going to swirl it all around slowly making sure to cover the entire inside of your glitter ornament. You're going to want to swirl it nice and slow so you get coverage all around the inside of your ornament. Once you start getting the polycrylic towards the entrance of your ornament, you're going to want to grab a plastic cup so that the rest of it can drip out. And while it's dripping out, you can just turn it around so that the inside gets nice and covered. And then you can let it drip inside the cup for a few minutes so that we don't have any runoff. I like to tap it down so that the excess can drip out just a little quicker. It's not going to damage anything. So while that's dripping, I went ahead and grabbed my glitter and the glitter that I'm going to use today is called Piglet Pink by Glitter Glams. And it's the same glitter that I use for this ornament right here. Let me see if I can get it in focus. Isn't it so pretty? You can use with whatever color glitter you wish, but since I'm trying to recreate this for you, I'm just gonna use the same color. All right guys, so it's time to put the glitter inside our ornament. I let the polycrylic drip out as much as I could into the cup, and now that I feel it's nice and ready, it's not dripping anymore, I'm gonna go and pour some of this pink glitter into another clean plastic cup. I only put a little bit amount because you don't need that much. All right, so now I'm going to just slowly pour the glitter. Let me get into camera here. Inside, and I hope you all can see. I 
got all the glitter inside. And now you can sh just move it around like we put the polycrylic. Like we did with the polycrylic, you just make sure you get all the coverage on the inside. And then what I like to do is just cover my finger, on, cover the top with my finger and shake the rest up. And look at that. It is so easy and so simple to do. Now what I'm gonna do is just Place the ornament upside down in the cup and let it dry for 24 hours. You want to make sure that your ornament is completely dry before putting the top back on because if you put the top back on too soon, it's going to scrape the inside of your ornament and you will see the scrape lines on the side of the ornament. So you want to make sure that it's dry for 24 hours before putting the top back on. So now that we're gonna move on to applying the vinyl to our ornament, I'm gonna put this one aside so it could dry for 24 hours and I'm gonna grab the one that I already did and put a bow on and I'm gonna show you how I apply my vinyl to the ornament. I've already cut out the vinyl that I'm going to use today and what I decided to do is put baby's first Christmas and I also cut out cute little footprints in silver. If you guys want to see how I created this in, in design space, how I curved the letters, how I cut it out on the Cricut, then let me know and I would love to do another video and show you how to create um, your design in design space. Now that we're ready to put the design on our ornament, I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing just a little bit better. So we have our ornament, our vinyl cutouts, and I have already contact paper cut out and ready to go. So now we have our ornament, our vinyl design, and I'm going to, first thing I'm gonna make sure that we do is clear off the ornament of any grease or oils. So I'm gonna spray some alcohol on a coffee liner and rub it down on the outside of where I'm going to put my design so that, it make, so that I make sure that it is on there really good. And the reason why I'm using a coffee filter versus a napkin or a paper towel is because a coffee filter is not going to leave lint on your surface. So um, I use them to wipe down my cups as well as also my ornaments. So I'm grabbing the contact paper and the first thing we're going to put on is the footprints. I want to put the footprint on first because I want my letters to lay over the footprint design. So I hope you guys can see clear what I'm doing. If you guys want a better um, tutorial on how I apply vinyl and step by step on what I'm doing, then let me know in the comments and I will be sure to create a video for you on that. All right, so now we're gonna lay our footprints down. And you want to make sure that you stretch the vinyl over the ornament. Since it is a rounded surface, you don't want any wrinkles or anything like that. So you can stretch your contact paper around to ensure that it lays nice and flat.
got our footprints down and now I'm going to go and put babies on. want to make sure that you take your time when you're laying down your vinyl because you don't want there to be any little bubbles or microscopic pieces that get underneath your vinyl because once you get anything underneath your vinyl it's hard to get it out so you want to take your time and make sure you have it um, right where you want it so that when you are finished with your decoration, you are completely satisfied. And I just love the colors that I chose for this ornament, but you guys can choose whatever color you like best. There's so many colors out there available for you to purchase anywhere at Michaels or Joann's Fabrics or Hobby Lobby. You can even purchase some vinyl online on Amazon, whichever works best for you. about these ornaments is that it's a fun way to add your own personalization to your Christmas tree. Um, it's cute little gifts that you can give to your family members without having to spend a whole lot of money. And I love them. I think they're such awesome personalization um, gifts and ideas for everyone. I like to go over it a couple times before I peel off my contact paper to make sure that it's down and free of any bubbles or wrinkles or anything like that. And here is the completed look of our DIY ornament. Super easy and simple. All right guys, and this is the completed look of our glitter ornaments. Isn't it so cute? I just love the way it came out, how the colors contrast, the glitter on the inside of the ornament. I added a little tool bow on the top with a little string to hang on our Christmas tree. You can create this look however you want. You can use whatever glitter you want on the inside, put your own design on it, leave it blank, just do a whole bunch of different color glittered balls without having to do the vinyl on the front. I think this is such an awesome way to be able to add your own personalized touch to your Christmas tree and to your holiday. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see something else, please let me know. So thanks for joining us again here at Christie's Craft Room. I so enjoyed doing this DIY tutorial for you today and I hope you enjoyed this new series, Make It Mondays. Mwah!